Hey everybody, my name is Gatham, welcome back for a new video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're gonna continue this series, possibly finish it in this video. I'm not entirely sure, I don't have a lot going on. Uh, burnout is coming up to its conclusion pretty much, almost, right? So, uh, if I end this series right here, I pretty much are not gonna have anything to play, so... Uh, we'll see about what we do with this series, but I mean, this is coming up to it towards its end uh, as well. As you can see right here, it's... Uh, there's not a lot left to do. This is a, a pretty much one of the final years. I think I'm on my eighth or ninth year as GM. I, I won the cup three times. I won the president's trophy three times. And uh, here I'm looking to uh, maybe get it a fourth time for both. We'll see though. It's not looking, well, it's looking actually really good for us this year. We are actually dominating quite well this season. Our players are doing very well on the first round and every uh, first uh, line. Second line, everything's working well with obviously the addition of Zetterberg is helping us out tremendously with Larkin and Afrania. It's a great first line. Uh, the rest is uh, pretty much history. The rest is uh, most of the players are doing pretty good, right? And uh, goalie wise, uh, Brand, uh, Brendan Mike, right, which is our uh, backup goaltender, normally, normally a medium potential elite player, he's, uh, he's playing a starter right now. With Gerhard's backup because Lucan and our main starter is actually injured. So, you know, we got to do what we got to do. I guess we just got to play with these two guys. I'm going to continue to start up the simulation here. See if we can't get uh, lucky once again. Get those great simulations going, right? So, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. All the way up to the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets game. We're going to be coming up as well to... Uh, the next uh, year uh, uh, as well so let's uh let's keep it going get a couple of wins going there's two wins in a row right here three wins if you count uh the vancouver uh vancouver canucks get win there it is so third three win uh, three wins that's uh two losses in a row right here okay so two losses in regulation there's another win against philadelphia there we go so we just gotta keep winning games and uh keep doing great right now uh, we are dominating. I can see the Flames, though, in the standings uh, doing pretty good themselves. So we got to watch out for them. They might catch up to us, the, uh, the Maple Leafs as well. So we can't be losing too much here. That's four, uh, four regulation losses here. That's, that's definitely going to be our worst record right now of the season. Five regulation losses. Okay. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. All right. All right. So it's five and five for the last 10 games. Okay. That's interesting. I don't know how, where that came from. I don't know why we started to struggle a little bit right here. Uh, let's check a bit of uh, the team stats. We're at half the season done, pretty much. So let's take a look really quick. We are still the best uh, score, like best offensive team. We are the second best defensive team. So I don't know where these goals are coming from. The best power play. Is it the penalty kill hurting us? Not really. We got one of the best penalty kills. I don't know where that come from. That came from. I actually legit don't know why we lost five games right there. It's probably because of the goalie. You know what? That's probably it. Uh, probably like uh, playing, right, is not uh, is not made up to be a starter. Yeah, I think it's just him struggling right now. Yeah, it's just like struggling as the starter, I guess. That's what's going on. Okay, I got you. I got you then. Uh, we don't need to make any changes. Um, if it's just because of our backup goaltender having a bit of a tough time as the starter... That's normal. That's just going to happen, right? He's going to have to... Uh, uh, that's going to be a lot of experience for him. So he's going to have to learn from it. 2, 4, right here. 6, 8, and 10. So after the All-Star break, basically we're going coming up to the uh, Jet, Winnipeg Jets game at the uh, the next month. So basically we simulate an entire month uh, right here. So that's pretty crazy in itself. So there we go. There's three wins in a row. Can we get the winning streak going? There are four wins in a row. And Lukanen's back. So that's fantastic. That's going to allow uh, Like to play in his actual position. Uh, Gahan did really great as a backup for us. But it's now time for him to possibly head back to the actual minor uh, minor league right here. So we're going to uh, bring him back to the minor league real quick. All right. So he's back in the minor league uh, along with Almvik, which is obviously our starter for the minors. Uh, let's keep those winning uh, that winning streak going. Damn it, we couldn't do it. 
Uh, there's a regulation loss against uh, the Arizona Coyotes. Hopefully, we're going to have a bit better of a simulation. Now that we got Lucan in back, right, our main starter, uh, we should be all right. We're actually winning a lot of games in overtime and shootouts. I mean, that means we're getting the bonus points, but we're giving also a bonus point to every single one of our opponents almost. So, got to be careful about that, man. I want to have a little bit more of a, a convincing wins in regulation. You know, it's fun and all that we're actually winning these showdowns and overtime uh, games because that's bonus points for us. But, uh, you know, we should probably start winning in uh, regulation as well. There it is. There's a good win right there. Since uh, when we are winning, we are uh, in regulation. We're like scoring six or seven goals. But otherwise, it's always going to be an overtime shootout by one goal or two goals. It's like crazy. I don't know what's going on, but uh, there it is. We're in February right now at 50 games played. Last record of 10 games was 7-3, and three, so pretty good. We have 75 points uh, tied up with the Flames for the most amount of points right here. Okay, all right. We got uh, we to gotta do good right here. Lafreniere is starting to uh, a little bit uh, slow down in terms of production. The first line is struggling a little bit more than they were. Uh, at the beginning of the season, I don't know why they've got. Uh, he's got 50. They both had in the 50s, and uh, Zitterberg's got 46 points. He passes the puck a lot. He doesn't score a lot of goals though. So I don't know. A franchise player, I would expect him to have a lot more points than games. Uh, Panarin and uh, Joshua Roy and Patrick Liney doing good as always. Fabry, uh, O'Reilly doing pretty good. Zvechnikov as well. Abramov, right? Patrick Wallstrom. Doing pretty good uh, on their side. What about uh, Quinn and Hughes right here? What is he doing? Yeah, doing really good for our team as well. He's um, he's doing just fine, boys. And uh, what about uh, Lukinen? Yeah, Lukinen is right uh, is having a really good season for us. Uh, Brendan Like was a bit tough for him, but uh, he's back on his backup position right here, so he should be just fine. And uh, yeah, I don't need to change anything. I feel like uh, we're doing just fine as it is. Uh, our stats are great. So let's keep it going until the trade deadline right here too. 4, 6, 8, and 10. So all the way up to the Tampa Bay Lightning game. We're going to be at 60 games played and at the trade deadline pretty much. Pretty close to it. There's a win against uh, the Winnipeg Jets. And uh, can we get more wins? There we go. Another win in overtime once again. Uh, a shootout loss. One of you few uh, shootout losses that we got. We're winning most of our games in shootouts and overtime uh, and stuff like that. Which imagine if we were actually garbage at that, we would have an horrible season. So we're, I'm just, I'm just uh, confident and uh, happy about the fact that we're actually uh, winning those clutches, uh, clutch game all the time. Uh, there it is. This, uh, you can see that against the Devils right there once again, another overtime win. We are getting scored on quite a lot recently, though. Uh, quite a lot boys you can see against the devils it was five goals against four goals against against buffalo i mean three, uh, two goals against against uh, uh the islanders but we gotta get careful there we go the two more two goals against like maximum three goals is uh the big deal for me that's what i want to see so after 60 games played there's a last record of 8 0 and 2 44 wins 11 losses in regulation five in overtime slash shootout we got 93 points, dominating our do uh, our division, so we're definitely making the playoffs already. And uh, the, now we're just uh, going for the President's Trophy run, boys. So we got to just keep winning. And uh, 88 points for the Flames, which are the most dangerous team, it seems like. Yeah, this is the only team we need to worry about, really. So let's be careful. The Flames are having a really good season. Let's just hope that uh, we just can get things going a lot uh, uh, further and further as things go along. Now, since it's the trade deadline, we might want to look into, right, just do a due diligence like always. See if we have any players that might be interesting to trade for a better one. I don't know, boys. Uh, we got to look into the 85, uh, 84s at least, below that, uh, below the 85s. So Karenin's got some good value, but he's growing. So we're obviously keeping him. We've got Truba, decent value, but uh, nothing really too much. So we don't have anybody to trade. And uh, goalie-wise, no, I'm not trading any goaltenders or whatnot. Uh, I'm not trading anybody away. So we're doing just fine as it is. Uh, I don't see anybody, um, any trades that would be doable. 
uh, and whatnot. I think uh, we I want to keep the same team I have. I'm confident with what I have. If we uh, go going to Bayas and we don't win it, uh, win the cup, then it is what it is. But uh, I'm really confident with the team I have. As you can see, we are doing very good all across the board right here. Hold on. Power penalty kill. Yeah, we are doing very good all across the board. All of our stats are good. I don't need to change anything whatsoever, boys. My team is doing just fine as it is. Uh, we are going to stop right here, though. Because I do want to see uh, the trades that happen during the trade uh, the trade deadline right here. I'm very intrigued. There's a win against Tampa Bay. And a win maybe? A, no, a loss. Regulation loss against uh, New Jersey. It's fine. Uh, keep the ter current trade block. Doesn't matter. Continue simming. Not making any trade deadline trades, boys. I'm not the uh, last minute trades. I'm not doing it this season. It's uh, probably the actual first season where... I uh, don't make any trades at the last second. That's quite uh, interesting as well when you think about it, right? I didn't make any trades for the first time. I, I just feel comfortable with the team I have. I don't have any players that are really, really have like a, a, a lot, of, uh, had a lot of value or anything. Polacek, Braden Chen, there's a lot of players we're not going to recognize the names of. This is the thing, boys. We, we don't really know who's who at this point, right? Eric Carlson, I guess. There we go. There we go. He's going at Edmonton. So Edmonton's getting Eric Carlson, I guess, for a first-round pick. Uh, I'm not sure if he's actually worth something at this point. Uh, he is still one of the best uh, defensemen but in terms of production, but he's not really, like, that, uh, that high up in uh, overall. I don't know, boys. So, so all the way up to the Montreal Canadiens game, boys. Uh, we're going to be simulating right here. There's uh, two wins in a row right here. I like to see that. Just kind of keep that winning streak going. I want to get that fourth president's trophy right here. Let's get it done. There's a regulation loss. Uh, not a win though against uh, Philadelphia. Another regulation loss. Let's prevent ourselves from having too many regulation losses right there. I don't want to see that. I do not want to see that. We're in president's trophy run right now. I do not want to see that. Uh, last 10 games. So we are at 70 games played. Yep. So last 10 games, 6 and 4. It's all right. 74 points in 70 games played, 31 goals. Best player of our team right now, Lafreniere. The entire season was like that uh, for him. We're still on the run with the Flames. For 98 points on their part. They've got 47 wins. Same thing for the Canucks, but uh, they probably, yeah, they got one last. They want to get uh, a little bit less uh, win, uh, points, extra points in overtime and stuff. And, uh, okay, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's the only challenge we've got. We got three teams... That are challenging me on the other side. On the central division. And that's about it. Uh, if we take a look real quick. Uh, we got 10 games remaining or something. Or 12 games remaining to play. Zetterberg. What's he done for us this year? 65 points in 70 games played. In my mind it's kind of a disappointing year. Uh, he's, he's doing great with the two players he's playing with. But I was expecting him to get more points than games. You know, he's a franchise player, 92 overall. I'm definitely expecting him to do something. Obviously, it's three playmakers on uh, uh, on paper playing together. So that's probably what's going on right here. It's slowing down their production. But come on, man. I mean, they're gotta be able. They gotta be able to do something. And uh, maybe if I put Line instead of Zetterberg, right? But Zetterberg's gotta play on the first line. Come on now. And uh, Line. 33 goals, boys. Now, he's gonna, not going to get that 40-goal or 50-goal score uh, uh, season. But uh, he's playing. Uh, that's only because he's playing on the second line. That's fine by me. And uh, goalie-wise so far, Lukanen. Still great, that great season going on. And Like is actually doing worse and worse every time. He's actually dropping down in terms of production. I don't like that. I don't like to see that. I was hoping for like to have a good season so it could grow faster. Doesn't seem like he's going to grow too much if he's having a bad season, boys. Uh, two, four. Uh, actually, we don't even need to count it because it's uh, actually the last 12 games right here. So let's simulate the last 12 games. Loss against Montreal. Another loss in regulation against Edmonton. What the hell are we doing here? Whoa, three losses in regulation in a row. Okay, we're shitting the bed all of a sudden. Four losses in a row. Uh, there's a win. There's another win. Finally. I mean, we're in the President's Trophy run. Now it's not the time. At the very end of the season, it's not the time to uh, shit the bed, boys. Let's get it done. There we go. The couple wins. Get it done. Secure a spot right here. There's a regulation loss. 
and uh, two wins in a row perfect all right that's what i want to see that's what i want to see i don't want to see any bullshit or shenanigans right here uh 82 ev is everybody at 82 right here it doesn't want to there we go yeah everybody's at 82 120 points we got it all right we got it boys we uh were well above the flames and the canucks which had a really good season but 120 points 57 uh wins uh we got the president's trophy for the fourth time boys the best gm of the league for the fourth time best team damn yeah, tell me about it. All right, so let's take a look at the individual stats right qu real quick. We're going to take a look. See what's our best score. It was uh, Larkin this year, 40, to, uh, 40, win, uh, 40 goals. Best player was Lafreniere, 86 points. Best season of his career, right, if I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's actually on par with his, uh, his other season right there uh two years ago so it's on par uh with uh, two years ago uh, that season uh, he had more goals this season though so it's interesting uh larkin 82 points zetterberg 78 points so it's all right i guess it's an all right season right uh, there's not too much you can ask for i guess uh Zvechnikov, quinn uh quinn Hughes had a really good season 66 points boys fantastic season for him it's his best season of his career as well so that's really good for him patrick liney i mean it is what it is he played on the second line so i'm not gonna blame him too much 35 goals still panarin 51 points o'reilly all of these guys uh zvechnikov how much did he do for us uh zvechnikov what did he do for us hold on where's he at zvechnikov did 69 points boys nice and uh goalie wise 38 go 38 wins for Lukonen. Remember, he's not in the 40s because he got injured for a while. He missed out on a lot of games. That uh, allowed Brendan Knight to basically play 30 games in this season. 15 wins. He won a couple of matches. It's just a uh, saving percentage, right? It was a rough year for him. It hurt him big time to actually be a starter and stuff. I guess he wasn't ready, uh, quite ready for that. And uh, now let's take a, a look at the entire league. Last but not least, best uh, scorer of the league was Nilekainen. Of course, now that Ovechkin is not there anymore, Nilekainen's got the free spot. 52 goals for him. And uh, the best player of the season was Nico Isha at uh, 101 points. Nikolainen as well is uh, 97 points. 97 points for Sigay, Pedersen 97, Barzell 95. You can say uh, uh, this is the top uh, the top players right there. Okay, so wait. So Jack Hughes, right? Wait, didn't Jack Hughes? Because it was a J Hughes, right? So I guess it wasn't Jack Hughes. Wait, who the fuck was the other J Hughes then the, the Toronto uh, got? I got to look into it real quick. Who's the other guy? The, oh, no, Jack Quinn. That's right, Jack Quinn. I forgot. It's not Hughes, it's uh, Quinn. Yeah, I don't know why I was saying. Okay, so... We're going on that part, defenseman-wise. Who's the best defenseman? McAvoy, boys, 66 points. Same as uh, Jack, uh, as Quinn Hughes. Miller, uh, Kendra Miller, yeah, a big-time prospect player, I guess. Uh, actually, he was one of our former players, right? One of our former D-men. Yeah, he was playing for us. We traded him to uh, to uh, Tampa Bay. Look at his, what he's doing now, boys, 65 points. Top three uh, D-men. Carlson, there we go. I mean, he still got it. I guess he still got it, right? Still doing 64 points. All right, so, and goalie-wise, last but not least, 39 wins, so no goaltenders had a 40-win season uh, this season. Uh, it's pretty much a tie between Demko and Corpisalo when it comes down to the Vizina Trophy win, I guess. And Lukanen, it's not far behind, I guess. It's not, he, he could win it. I'm not too sure, though, that it's going to be the case. Rookie skaters, uh, Sullivan, top six player that uh, probably won it. So that's uh, pretty much it for the regular season, boys. Uh, we're going to ready who we're going to be facing off against in the first round right here. We, uh, remember, we are the defending Stanley Cup champions. It looks like we're going to be up against the Buffalo uh, the Sabres. Buffalo Sabres. We already know the strategy. I'm going to edit my lines, of course, to make it so the best poises, uh, best players with poise are playing. And this Nikolainen guy, though, is the, is the, he's basically the new uh, Solani for this team. 
He's a great player. Look at that. He's a fantastic player for them. That's unbelievable. Uh, franchise player, all right. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, Buffalo Sabres, what do we got against us? Uh, Taylor Hall, Jack Eichel, Sam Reinhardt, of course. Bokstrom and uh, Cousins and Gauthier. Uh, Guzev, Likens, which is a lower league player. Vorobyov, another prospect. Dezingle, Rimsha, and Shenishin. So they have a decent team, but it's nothing to be scared about. We've got uh, Darlene, they've got Darlene, Ristolainen, Martins, an, a medium elite player, uh, Shea, Gouli, and uh, White Cloud. So they have a decent def defense, I guess, as well. And they've got Shishturk, and that's right. Former goaltender, boys. The former goaltender in the net uh, for us right here. Got Shishturk, and they got Mert Murray. Yeah, we traded both our, both, uh, our former goaltenders. So both, both our former goaltenders are uh, facing off against us in this uh, first round. That's a good story, actually. That's a really good story. We got to wreck them, though. We got to absolutely wreck them. We know that uh, Shesterkin is absolutely garbage in the playoffs. We got to get past them easily. All right, so there it is. That's going to be the lineups, at least for now, for the upcoming uh, playoffs. It's going to be Panarin, O'Reilly, and Svechnikov on the first line. Whoever's got the best boys is playing on the first line, boys. Lafreniere, Patrick, Zetterberg. I'm intrigued to see what Zetterberg can do for us in the playoffs. Uh, Fabry, Larkin, and Delaney. And Abramov, Roy, and Wallstrom. In the tep, uh, def defensive side, Quinn Hughes with Edman, Girard with Truba, and Klinberg with Karen. And now remember, Edman is a really good player for us in the playoffs. He, he does produce quite a lot. Lukonen, this is our first time. We're going uh, to see what he's made of in the playoffs. Uh, and uh, if it ever comes down to it, uh, we're going to pick up uh, like and give him a chance as well, right? If it ever comes down to that. So let's go straight in, boys. I feel like we are a really good team. I don't see anything scary aside from maybe a revenge type of of playoff uh, uh, performance by uh, Shesterkin and whatnot. Or Murray, in that sense, since we traded them away. But I don't see them uh, really outproducing. We should be able to score, by the way. I mean, we already we gave up like within one minute we gave up. Oh, for Christ's sake. We, we gave up two goals and now it's we're already losing. So we, are, we lost that game already. That game's already done, boys. We already lost that game. I mean, Quinn Hughes, they've got Matt Murray in the net. This is how much they know. For, they know the AI already knows that Shesterton's absolute garbage. All right, so if they have Matt Murray in the net, that means that uh, we might actually have a better, a worse shot. <laughs> because uh, they are an interesting team. They've got maybe some depth and stuff. Yeah, they're a dangerous team. They've got five goals. Lafreniere is going to score for us, finally. I mean, only goals by Lafreniere and Quinny News. So, yeah, I don't know, boys. I don't know how this is going to go. Zitterberg, they are going the second line. Scoring, our second line scored is producing for us right now. We got three goals. Svechnikov on the first line. There it is. There's a goal by him. Uh, we are scoring goals now, but uh, how is it going? We gave up five goals, boys. Oh, my God. Empty net goal. All right. So, empty net goal by Taylor Hall. I don't like to see that. We got absolutely wrecked in the first game. The fuck happened there? Lukonen. I don't like how Lukonen played right there, boys. It, that, uh, that's not good at all. You know what? Uh, I'm not messing around here. I've got the right lineup set up, but uh, Lukonen, he did not impress me at all. I, I got to put Brendan Lyke in here, man. We uh, It's the best out of three. They win the other game, they basically move on. So I, I do not want to get swept. Not again. Uh, not after a good season like this. We are pa up on end, boys. Now let's go. Brendan Lyke, this is your chance, buddy. This is your chance. I'm giving you a chance to, to do your thing. Let's see how you're going to produce during the playoffs. How you how are you playing during the playoffs, Brandon? Like, I'm a, I'm very intrigued how my young prospect goaltender can do. I I was not impressed with Lukonen. Uh Maybe it was a one-time thing, but uh, first game, first loss. I mean, come on now, gave up like five ga five goals. Not uh, very unimpressed. All right, so we are obviously having a tough time. Dalin's going to score on like. Don't worry about it, like. Don't worry about it. You're doing a good job so far. And uh, we are actually dominating this team. We're dominating them now. We just can't score. 
I think it's Matt Murray being in the net and everything. Long power play for them. Yeah, I think uh, Matt Murray being in the net for them is really helping uh, them out. Matt Murray is a great goaltender for the playoffs. Shouldn't have probably not traded him. He gave me the cup after all last year. But, you know, I wanted to get... Uh, I wanted to play like and all, so... It is risky, boys. It's just part of the business. I think we're going to have to hop on in and actually try and use the cheat code. Oh, my God. Well, I don't think it's going to work. We're losing by two now. Yeah, we're losing by three. Yeah, fuck, man. All right. Well, we're going to hop on in. Hope for the best, but I don't think anything's going to happen. We're losing by three here. Uh, I think we're going to get swept, boys. Fucking A. Shesterkin and Murray are going to have their goddamn revenge against us. That's great. All right. Well, here goes nothing, boys. Uh, four minutes left. Well, a little bit above that. Uh, there's going to be four minutes left. Already, the puck carrier drops that into uh, the goddamn the ceiling. That's great. Didn't get any penalty. We got lucky out of that. But uh, all right, first line, go up in there. Do your thing, Panarin. Uh, this is your, probably one of your last chance right with us to win the cup. So go ahead and do your thing, buddy. We got to try something here. Like is going to get the... Ico is going to get the puck. Now, Brendan, like, just shut it down, all right, for the two last three minutes. You did what you had to do, I guess, for this game. I'm not going to blame the young goaltender for this. Uh, I, we did what we had to do. We actually dominated that t uh, dominated him then in this game. Just got unlucky. I guess we couldn't score. They've got fucking Matt Murray in the net. What are we going to do, boys, against him? He's a beast in the playoffs. I should have definitely not traded him. Now he came back and bite me, bit me in the ass, boys. And uh, this guy is probably not happy about it. He wanted to win against us. He's going to do it, probably. Yo, Panarin, get it together. All right. So we're trailing down the goaltender right there. Go or go ahead, Riley. All right. Get the, get the face off. Oh, okay. Goalie's going to throw that out. Goalie's going to throw that out. Oh, you fucking pieces of shit. Play defense. What are you... Okay. NA defense, boys. Great. That's great. No goaltending. NA defense. That's fucking great. All right. Uh, we're throwing out the goalie right now. I don't have time to waste right here. We got to throw out the goalie. Zetterberg, there he is, boys. Nice pass by Zetterberg to Lafreniere. Not going to get... It's going to be another save. It's actually Shesterkin in the net? Wait a minute. You're going to me. You're gonna tell me that Shesterkin of all the goalies is actually going to make a save like that? Yeah, bullshit. Never in my mind would I think that. All right, whatever, boys. Okay, yeah, goalie's gonna get back. They got the puck. We're not. Uh, we don't know. How, uh, AI doesn't know how to play defense where there's no goaltending. Uh, so, in, in the net. So, all right, go, 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 go. Pull out the goalie again. Pull out the goalie. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your do your thing. You're gonna lose the puck anyways. Lafreniere, not a great pass. That second line is doing pretty good right now. I mean, we just gotta. We gotta do something. Block him. Block him. Be aggressive, boys. Be aggressive. Don't let him shoot. All right, so that's it right there. We couldn't do anything. I mean, trailing by three goals. What the fuck are we going to do here? So congrats to the Buffalo Sabres. They swept us uh, easily in the first round. Shishturkin and Matt Murray, they got their sweet revenge against us. That's a shame, man. That's really a shame. After winning the cup last year, it's really impossible to win the cup twice in a row, boys. I'm telling you. Absolutely impossible. Well, I did it three times, and I won the President's Trophy for a fourth time this year. So, you know, I think uh, my run is a success. I think it's time to end my run right here, boys. I did I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I did. Uh, I, I made my team four times. Uh, I made it so that four times... Uh, I made it so that my team won, uh, won the President's Trophy four times. And they won the Cup three times. So, in my mind, my work as GM... For the New York uh, New York Rangers is uh, a success, a complete success, boys. All right, so as you can see, the Stanley Cup champions are the Dallas Stars. So they won the cup in the Hartford Wolf uh, Pack, which is, I think, uh, the guys from uh, the minor league uh, team from the Hurricanes, I think. I'm not sure. They won uh, basically the Calder Cup, so... It is what it is. Uh, uh, congratulations to the Dallas Stars for this uh, g this win right here. Uh, we're actually going to take a look at what we did for over the years, right? The awards and stuff like that. Uh, we played for eight years as GM. So we had an eight-year contract as GM with the uh, New York Rangers. And within eight years, four times we won. Uh, half of that, we won the President's Trophy. And we won three out of eight uh, times uh, we, we won the cup. So it's a pretty good one. Pretty good run. 
uh, Dallas Stars, they won it. Uh, it was us, as you can see, us last year, Boston Bruins before that. Before that, it was us again. Before that, it was the Avalanche. Before that, it's probably us again. Every, like, two years, we win the Cup. I'm pretty sure if we were to keep moving, we would win the Cup once again next year or something. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this uh, video. Keep it easy.